you felt like you could have controlled at a higher degree? Definitely stuff we could have controlled at a higher degree, I thought, um, to start the game. Um, just physicality, you know, we didn't have our chest on them the way that we needed to. Um, they played at the front of the rim. There was definitely an, a, a conscious effort on their part to attack and protect the paint, and they did that in the first half, and they built a 17-point cushion, and we obviously tried to fight back into the game in the second half, but, you know, it was a hard deficit to overcome. We had a really small margin for error. I think it was like 67 free throw attempts combined in this game. We talked about their free throw drawing uh, before the game. Did you all get into the line, at least help you kind of slow this one down and um, keep yourselves in this game? Yeah, we got to the line. I mean, we did a good job there, but obviously fouled them too much. You know, they're in the bonus, I think, three minutes into the third quarter. Um, and, you know, it was probably stuff that we fouled them on. You know, it wasn't like they were just making the calls up. So, uh, we could have done a better job. I just thought the physicality uh, and discipline on the defensive end of the floor isn't where it needed to be tonight. And credit them, they were the better team by far. And then just what you saw from Shea tonight, 24 hours after he was too sick to play, two and a half hour flight, and um, he gives you a, a, another really strong performance, it seemed like. Yeah, I thought he was a little winded early and then got a little bit of a rhythm back. Um, you know, got to the line tonight. He drew a lot of the fouls and that, you know, kept us going. But um, and I actually thought end of the third quarter uh, with that group, uh, with Mike, Lindy, and Isaiah out there, and Trey, he did a great job of kind of drawing defense and then spraying it out and getting us really quality looks there. So he did some good things. But, you know, we weren't good enough tonight, top to bottom. Paris Halson, Valley Sports. I wanted to ask you about the, the third quarter stretch there. You guys went on a run, got it down to seven. Just what, what was working in that stretch that, that allowed you to kind of climb back in it a little bit? Well, I thought we were, that was probably our best stretch of the night, both ends. You know, defensively, um, we had some mismatches on the court, but we were just kind of covering for each other and scrambling around. Uh, and we were, like, as active and as engaged as we were all night during that time. And we were able to string some stops together, and then we were drilling shots, you know, which is, you know, partially have, putting those guys out there for that reason, you know, try to bring some volatility to the game. And they did a good job there. But it doesn't matter if you don't get stops, and those guys got stops too. Yeah, just speaking of that lineup, it, it's mainly shooters out there. Trey, Lindy, Isaiah, Mike, and Lindy goes up and blocks Mo Bamba. Just mm -hmm. what's it like just as a coach knowing that you can trust those guys on, on that end of the floor as well? Yeah, you can't play them all together if you can't, you know, if we can't trust them on that end of the floor, you can't put them all out there together or else the scoreboard will move the wrong way. So um, those guys compete and we're ready to play. And I thought, you know, like I said, that stretch was probably the most complete stretch of the game, both ends of the floor that we had tonight. Uh, but we needed more. Ben Carroll is uh, named the rookie of the month. What did you see from him tonight? Uh, I mean, he's an impressive player, obviously. I think he's he made shots tonight, you know, jump shots, which makes him really tough when he does that because he's got the foul drawing. He's got uh, the driving. He's got the passing. Um, I've been impressed with how unselfish he is. You know, like he draws defense and he makes the right play. There was one time we tried to zone them and he just kind of quarterbacked their team and found a wide open shot. Um, so he's, like I said before the game, he's a very mature player. He's mature physically for a rookie uh, and a 19 year old. And he's really mature um, in terms of his game. He's an impressive player. Steve McGee, KWTV, piggybacking off Paris's question. Third quarter, you guys mounted a comeback. Some teams may make an excuse like, eh, we played last night and won well. Let's just kind of throw in the towel. But you guys didn't. No, I mean, we take pride in being a 48-minute team. I thought, you know, even in the Philly game where we got off to just a brutal start, uh, we really fought in the second, third, and fourth quarters. And, you know, you have to condition yourself to bring energy for 48. And, um you know, that's been a mark of our team. We've done that um, not only this season, but we've done that for a couple of years now. So uh, certainly a good thing. But, you know, if, if you want to get a road win against a good team, you got to do it for 48. Anyone else? Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you. Yep.